I've got Coco out and she's come in for our two week in-house training. So I want to put a little bit on tape, show you where she started off at. Um, confidence is going to be her biggest thing. You know, um, she, she's got some nervous tendencies as far as that goes. Um, you know, so uh, I think once she gets comfortable and settled in, she started eating very well. So that's good. Um, you know, a minute ago, she tried to chase an 18 wheeler. I was, that was interesting. Um, <laughs> she's, she's just got some kind of personality quirks. We're going to try to work through and see what we can get with them. You know, this kind of, you know, touchy behavior as far as that goes. That's what I'm talking about. She needs some confidence. She needs to know that everything's going to be okay and nothing's going to get her. Hey, hey, hi, hi, huh? So we start off a little bit different with these guys. We do a lot of just, you know, get it calm, some play games, that sort of thing. Make everything real light and easy so it makes it really fun for them. As that goes, what is with you in trucks, huh? Huh? Are those big 18-wheelers just too much fun? All right, let's see what you know. Hey, want to go for a walk? Come on. She likes to go on the right side. Try to change it to that left. We're used to working off the left side, but if she wants to work off the right and is more comfortable, that may be what we do. Coco. Coco, can you sit? Well, that's not quite a sit. Huh? Oh. Oh. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> but, you know, she is just pulling and walking along. She's not really responding. Coco. Coco. When you say your name, that sort of thing. So we're going to try to get some of those, you know, basic commands in there. Hey. Hi. Good girl. Here. But I don't think, you know, I think it's just a confidence issue at this point. You know, we're just going to start working and the more we work the better this gets them the better it'll be and i think you'll see some vast improvements in week one so we're gonna put her up and we'll get her back out at the end of week one and tape her then and see how she's doing Good. Okay, i've got coco out and she's been here for a week so i want to put a little bit on tape you know um I, I have encouraged her to do a few things um you know that i don't often encourage dogs to do hey <laughs> bless you coco what's she doing Good girl. Off. Good. And I'm not encouraging her to jump, but I am teaching her the difference between okay, okay, and off. Because she needs a little bit of confidence. You know, she lacked so much confidence when she came in that she'd literally crawl along the ground. Um, you know, and she was just really nervous about everything. So that confidence level has come up a lot this week. Um, but it, it needs to come up a little bit more. So there's some things I don't always correct her on, you know. Um, I don't use a push down method for her bottom. I pull her chin up to make her sit. Those sort of things. Get your head up. Pay attention to what I'm asking you to do. So she's gotten better in the first week. Um, she's got a little ways to go, but I think she's doing really well. Hey, Coco, let's show off. Want to show off? Come on, let's go for a walk. Good girl. No, leave it. Is that a sniffing issue, but we've been working on leave it. Good girl. Hurry. No. Good. Back. Coco. Hey, sit. Good sit. Good girl. Good sit. All right. Do it again. Let's go. Uh-uh. Leave it. Sit. Sit. All the way. You missed that one completely. Hey. Come here. Good girl. Want to do a stay? Stay. No. We're not very far on stay yet. We've been working on it. Here. Stay. That's about as far as we get. You get a little further away and she gets those nerves going. She'll start doing the licking, the head up and down. You can tell it's really bothering her that you're getting too far away from her. So we're staying in close for now. Make her more comfortable and then we'll start moving away and getting a distance. Good girl. Good, no. Okay. I know, yeah. Come on, let's try another walk, come on. Come on. Good girl. We did notice that she is a right-handed dog. She does like to walk off the right. Sit. 
a little different, but it's okay. You're still not doing sits for me right now. Sit. All the way. Sit. Uh-uh. Coco, come here. Hey, sit. Good. That's what I needed. Good girl. Want to play a little bit? Okay. Get it. Whoops, you missed it. There it is. Good girl. Coco, come. Hurry. Uh-uh. No sniff. Where's come? There it is. Good girl. Come. Sit. No. No. Sit. Good. No. No. She can't have it until she keeps her feet on the ground. <laughs> She's excited today. Get it. There it is. Come. Hurry. Where is it? Right here. Right there's Kim. Come, come, come. Sit. No. That was better. Good. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Whoops. Did you forget? We're walking on this side. Come on. Oh, I know. Good. Hey, come on, hurry. Good, yeah. Let her tail's up, her happy face, I'm loving it. Sit. You weren't paying attention. Sit. Sit. All the way. Oh, I know. Come on, I know. Hey. Come here, sit. When you've got a nervous dog, you know, you can help them to a point, but if they'll take a reward or a treat for help, help, I find that they gain more confidence quickly so that we do that as far as more of a bribe type thing. We will take the bribes away, but we do want to make sure that she's being happy because really with a less confident dog, it's more about tail up happy expression than anything. Get it. Coco, come, hurry. Where's, oh, there it is. See it? No. So she has made a lot of progress in the first week. You know, she's coming along nicely. She's got a ways to go and um, she will get there. I have no doubt in my mind. It's just gonna take a little bit of work, but we're gonna get her there before she goes home. So we'll put her up and get her back out at the end of week two and see how she's doing then. Good girl.